I am from Afghanistan and I lived in Kabul city and we moved to the United States um, in August 2021. As a new refugee to this country, like healthcare, navigating healthcare was a little daunting, but our friends uh, introduced us to Crossover where I received my first pregnancy test which was like immense joy for our family and I'm really thankful and grateful for all the providers who provided like this prenatal services during my pregnancy time. I think one of the biggest challenges that refugees face when they come to the United States is navigating our healthcare system. Um, oftentimes it's very different from the healthcare system they've experienced in their home country. We do spend a lot of time just kind of meeting the individual where they are before we even begin to talk about um, anything traumatic that may or may not have happened. You have to kind of learn about their environment that they grew up in, um, the religion, the language, the food, different customs, just to really be able to put the individual's problems in their specific cultural context. A family of five from Afghanistan, they had uh, twin nine-year-olds and uh, the boy, it was a boy and a girl, and the boy had muscular dystrophy. The mom was a, um, a professor at the university in Kabul and had taken him to Pakistan or India for, for treatment, but had not been able to do that. She said um, that she was a prisoner in her home ever since the Taliban took over, and her son hadn't gotten treatment. He was not on any medication. When we got her in for, um, for their appointment and their health screening, she told me how he a month ago he was walking with a walker and now he couldn't walk at all and he was in a wheelchair. He is um, getting medication now and hopefully with the physical therapy and the occupational therapy and the medicines he can regain some of that strength and hopefully be able to walk some. Felt like we really made an impact and were able to help a family out. And thinking back um, on different um, refugees I've encountered in the last um, year or so. Um, there's one particular that stands out who is a pediatric patient. They found that his lead levels were extremely elevated. Um, they were about 38, I believe. Um, the acceptable range is less than three. When I assessed him initially, he actually did have some developmental delays and just wasn't where um, a normal two-year-old should be. After seeing him pretty regularly, I think about six months after we initially saw him, um, he actually was, you know, catching up developmentally. Had he not gotten care and gotten, you know, a quick referral from the health department, then um, his, the consequences probably would have persisted. I think the future is promising as we continue to deliver care to refugee patients. Um, we are all continuing to grow and learn how to do that better. Uh, but always with the understanding that each patient is unique and comes to us with a unique story.